Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Ines Lea, and welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some really cool and exciting updates that came to Adobe Premiere Pro that you should definitely check out. Alright, so the first update is actually one that Cinecom already covered, and that's Adobe Premiere Pro actually speeding up their render times. And I wanted to test it out for myself because I really got excited about that part. And it's actually faster. It's definitely two times faster, as you can see in this render. It's a simple setup, some videos. I applied some effects to it to make it a little bit more render intensive, but it's not a final edit. Just because I didn't have any projects for that older version of Premiere Pro, we kind of fixed this up. So this is a short video. Both of these were like under two minutes, but you can definitely see that in the new update, it's a lot more stable, it's a lot faster, and it's rendering at two times the speed Speed, which is already a big improvement and makes me happy kind of saves me half the time and I see you thinking what is that slug over there on your left shoulder <laughs> well actually it, it, okay look what is this slug well it's not a slug <laughs> Well, actually, Holy Land sent me over this transmitter and I want to check it out. I didn't know it before they actually reached out to me, but it had plenty of great reviews and a lot of good feedback. So I wanted to test this out. We plug the Xbox HDMI in the Holy Land. So the camera is upstairs filming the interns. Let's see if it's live. It doesn't work. Whoa. That's nice. And so basically the Holy Land works pretty much out of the box. Let's uh, call Julian and see if this is live. So look at that and I will yell right now. Three, two, one. Julian! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <Instant. laughs> what? <laughs> Test. <laughs> anyway, this is a super helpful thing and it also goes super far up to 120 meters. Was yes, that the thing? Or Something or four, 400 foot or whatever measure system you use. Shout. Right, so Enzo here is in the far far background and I'm still live connected to uh, the monitor I'm not sure if you can see something but I can definitely see something and it's it's without delay it's pretty great so that's pretty far in distance and yeah it's really helpful if you're working in a team so if you want to go and check out Holy Land right here I will put a link in the description below and also something Maybe not as interesting, but it feels super premium. It's all from real like metal. It's not like this plasticky kind of feel that you have. It's really robust. So that's also something I like in my arsenal because I know my gear is going through a lot during a shoot and this kind of feels sturdy. It's not gonna break anytime soon. All right, so now for the next update that Adobe released. It's already a while ago, but I just tested it out and that's called the freeform view. So this is especially useful when you're working with bigger, bigger projects in your project manager. You can see the thumbnails and you can kind of scrub through the videos, see what works, what doesn't, and the shots that you like, you can all place them separately and especially the shots that kind of belong together. Like all these videos with eyes belong with each other. Uh, all these videos with cocktail should also belong to each other so that's a really useful way if you're planning a bigger project and you want to kind of brainstorm within Premiere Pro and then another important update well for us because we're kind of restructuring the way we work now we're starting to work with multiple people on single projects so you have obviously a team projects that I haven't actually looked at and I'm definitely interested in doing that right we, we really need some structure in our editing. <laughs> so I'm sure that will be really interesting to look into, but for now we haven't checked that yet. But what Premiere released in their latest updates is that you can now assign a hotkey to labeling colors for your footage. So you can either use this in the free form or in the timeline. And I saw Enzo yeah. behind the camera getting really exciting. Colors! <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, you can just set like your numpad to one, two, three, four, five, have all these colors assigned. And then for example, all the slow-mo material would be one. Everything that is like outdoors would be two. And then you can just easily color these. Enzo is a little bit more structured than myself, 
But yeah, I'm trying to kind of keep up with that. And so we can kind of uh, work together on projects, which is cool. They combine my two favorite things, macros and colors. Ah, yeah. He, he really likes macros like from the Elgato stream deck. It's full. And like the keyboard with all the extra hotkeys and like I edit actually on my mouse. I can lay back and just edit an entire video using only my mouse with the hotkeys on there. If you would like me to cover a video on that, actually that would be a great tip. So yeah, if you want to know if you want the video next week. So yeah, if you would like a video on that, definitely let me know in the comments below. All right, so if you enjoyed watching this video, definitely give this video a like. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay notified when we upload new videos. And until next time, create epic videos.